Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Guess what we just got off of? Our therapy session. And it went so good. We got a lot of stuff off our chest because from the trip and coming back home from the trip, uh, we ain't pretty much update. I guess this would be an update. Baby, did you record? No, I didn't. Okay, so this would be a... We're going we're gonna to sit down. We promise y'all. We're going to sit down and give you guys a full sit down session yeah we're gonna have to give y'all a sit down session we we enjoyed it from um you know our trip we're back home now we <clears throat> couldn't update anything the other day because my special child <laughs> my special child started his shenanigans the day we got back and he was already talking that shit like a bitch ain't informed him i don't know which one of these motherfuckers he paid but he like, we didn't inform him, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But ain't nobody was on that shit, because, bitch, my spirit was like, ooh, mama, I got to tell you what he did. Mm -hmm. And she told me. She told me the motherfucker ain't right. <laughs> she told me. So that that was dealt with. But overall, um, <clears throat> I guess we'll try, mm, I guess in a little bit. To try to come back and talk to y'all. Um, they say she want to do a sit down. But however, for the trip this weekend, it was lovely, guys. It was lovely. Um, came back, got right back to work. Went back to the usual. <coughs> Excuse me. Went back to the usual. Y'all already know you girls be back in work mode, back in action. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all know how we get down, but um, we learned a lot. We learned for sure that we're different, <laughs> you know, we're different. And that's the amazing part about us. Just now on our session, um, we had our therapist rolling. She was rolling because she was like, you both are so hilarious together. It's just, it just... Yeah, she was like, y'all can have their own comedy show. It's just, you guys are so unique together. We we basically bring out the best in each other. That's just what we do. We bring out the best in each other. And that's only because we want the best for each other. Like, there's no other fucking way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be with my partner and just be stuck up. Now, don't get it twisted. As y'all see the little nicks and ticks we have online or whatever, in real life, shit get down. You know what I'm saying? But it gets down to the point where it's only for the best of the both of, both of us. You know what I'm saying? It's just we we know <clears throat> we know we both have different views on things. And when it's time to actually sit down, break it down for one another to understand it, my thing more so is I'm more detailed. Babe. I'm I'm more detailed. Like I want more. I need more explanation. Um, with my wifey, she's like a one hit a quitter. She's straight to the point because that's for me. I feel that's that military in her. Um, that's that discipline in her. There is no. How can I say? There is no going further. It's just I'm gonna answer your question and let that be that. I'm not giving you no more than what you asked for. Ain't that right, baby? That what she say. So it all depends on you know what 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 you asking type shit and what you really want and what you want from us. But session was amazing. We talked about everything. Um, as far as this weekend go, y'all already see y'all girl. I didn't even talk about you. I'm not even talking about you. I'm just saying, in general, like, this weekend was the shit. We laughed. We laughed. We enjoyed. We had so much fucking fun, y'all. We really did have so much fun. I wish I could have showed y'all a lot. But. 
Yeah, it was going to be so much copyright because there was just music every fucking where. It was just music everywhere. Everywhere we went, there was music. Um, however, there be shit we be wanting to show y'all. Some shit we can't because we got nosies in the comment, nosies in the views and all that shit or whatever. But I just be like, it's going to get to that point where, I don't know, shit really going to go. Two peas in the bucket. You know, but if, if, if. You want to achieve your goals. You want to definitely live it up to the future. That's that. That's the was that's the note we actually left in for the wall of intentions in New Orleans. We're gonna pull that shit through because I feel it's still with me. We did that tour. We did all those experiences for a reason. We so we have so much more to explore with each other. We have so much first times to continue with each other. That was the first time we, majority of the shit me and Bae do be the first time we've ever done it in life. There's places she has been without me, but I definitely want her to show me more and I want to show her more. You know what I'm saying? She's been, a, been around the world more than I have. So these these trips we take in, this is our meaning. This is This is what we want to do for each other and we plan on keeping it going though that's this is going to be our intentions to you know remain solid and remain as one with each other and just do our first just have our first um you know everything what you say babe so have i was just telling the therapist i was like when I was in New Orleans, I was like, yo, I was so addicted and fucked up on bread pudding. I was like, I just knew I wasn't going to have it anymore. I knew I wasn't going to get it anymore. So why not go the fucking extreme? Do the extreme. Like I'm going over and beyond. I want this shit. And I was yeah. telling Bae. No, yeah. let me say what I'm saying. Yeah. I told Bae. I say, Bae. She act like she ain't got a whole shelf for a wife. I do, babe, but I just wanted it when I wanted it. I didn't want my baby to work hard on that. So I wanted the, the people to make it for me. You know what I'm saying? And I already know you're going to come here. You're going to make it for me or whatever. I know that. But while we was in the city. I was I, over I, it. I, I, was, I, was I know, over it. I I know was she like, was over it. She was done with she my She asked ass. for another damn bread pudding. I'm going to leave her ass right here. <laughs> I said, bitch, you better be happy I ain't fucking pregnant because if I was pregnant, bitch, I would be like, man, we got to take flight, bitch, next weekend. I need me a bread fucking pudding, bitch. I did, that shit was so fucking good, you guys. If you have ever had a bread pudding before or a Louisiana, New Orleans bread pudding before, you should know the weakness that it brought to my body, Okay. I was fucking weak. I was like, babe, bitch, every corner. If I could have had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, bitch, I would have had it. It was my weekend, and it's my party. I can, I want to, I wanted it all. Fuck that. I wanted it. I wanted it. And my babe was like, <laughs> <laughs> she better ask for another fuck. Bread pudding. I can't wait till we fucking leave so she don't have it no more. I didn't care. I knew I wasn't gonna have it anymore. I knew. I just knew I wasn't gonna have it like that anymore. So every place I tried it, everyone had a different type of taste for their bread pudding. The fucking one that topped it all was at the plantation. The plantation is what set it off. So I think for me more so, I kept trying to find that same taste and i was not gonna find it everybody makes theirs different don't get me wrong everybody's bread pudding pudding was off the chain you had that bitch warm the only thing that was fucking missing was some fucking ice cream with some fucking ice cream i'm telling you don't talk about me like that Bitch, after we saw that bridge that one night, bitch, we ain't go that way no more, huh, man? 
We ain't go that way no fucking more. Everything we did was on that side. We did not need to go back on that bridge. And thank God we didn't need that bridge no more. But I was like, fuck, why did we even go cross that fucking bridge? I was like, stupid ass GPS. I was like, okay, as we was coming back, it made us take go longer. We could have been back to the fucking crib. We could have been back to the hotel if we knew that it was going to bring us, if we there was no way of getting around the fucking bridge. We would have just thug that shit out like we did. We didn't have no choice but to thug that shit out and get across it. Man. What your girl talking about? Don't talk. Don't say nothing. Just sit over there and be quiet. Girl, don't talk to me like that. Because how I'm going across it, this one having a whole fucking anxiety attack. But she won't be quiet. She's like, oh, babe. I'm like, oh, my God. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just I need to focus. We're on a bridge. I was focusing on talking so I can get across the Oh, bridge. you wanted to talk about that shit, but you didn't want to talk when it was time for us to go to the fucking when we was getting back uh, to go to go back to the airport and I was trying to make a little conversation with your ass and you was just cutting me the fuck off to shut up so you can get some sleep. <laughs> we ain't don't. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what fucking day. We got up at 4 o'clock in the fuck. 3.45 in the morning and you I needed conversation to stay up. I Wait, needed to stay up. Mind you, we ain't go to the bed until twelve fifteen. We was back up at three forty five. After the concert, after the concert, the next day we left or whatever. But shit, the concert. By the time we got back to the hotel, it was what twelve something. Mm hmm. Twelve. She went at four o'clock in the morning. Because I'm driving, I need to. I guess I'm following the blue on the GPS. But shit. I need some conversation. The I gave you gave conversation. Me, you gave me a period. You didn't give me a comma to keep fucking rolling. She gave me a motherfucking period. Like, bitch, I'm going to ask you a question. Shut the fuck up. Don't say shit else. I'm trying to go to sleep. I wasn't even sleeping. I was just riding. Your mind was sleeping. <laughs> Your eyes was open. <laughs> but, bitch, everything else had shut the fuck down. Ain't nobody. Ain't, there was nothing. She wasn't and giving I me see, nothing. And I see your girls back at home working. Back at home. I keep going to my office. Because, I don't know, I, I feel like I have to get things organized. And when I'm looking What's down there? What you looking at? You looking at your... I'm looking at my titties out there. I was like, why she looking out titties for? What happened? And I was making sure there was nothing on them. There's nothing, baby. There's nothing. You need something on them? <laughs> okay, say what you're saying. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, okay. focus. But anyways, y'all, so... <laughs> I'm bringing all my winter stuff downstairs. Bay started smiling like, yes. Girl, I don't know what you're smiling for. Because all my short sleeve shirts are still staying over there. And my shorts are staying over in the other closet. That's fine. But the winter stuff that you don't wear, that's fine to go in your closet. And I can do the same clean up too and bring mine yeah, down my here. I woke up this morning and my spirit said. What is it? You need to go ahead and move this stuff downstairs into your little closet downstairs and you know do that thing and then i read my horoscope and it said what it said <laughs> you will be cleaning and getting things organized since you can't get you can't seem to get your roommates to give follow the uh, your who your roommates <laughs> it said it say your roommates won't follow the organization of who's kids. your fucking roommate moi oh <laughs> okay go roommates go to the kids and up to uh, uh um organized upkeep schedule it was like you'll you'll start getting a um a pinwheel um set up so i don't know what is that pinwheel. i um, guess like probably another flow chart i think we need a, a um what you call a board for out there somewhere hold on man pinwheel Okay, see, it's like a circle with chart like that right there. And you do the little thoop and it. <laughs> yeah, this is what you're you're gonna do. Doom. But ah, okay, okay. It said your roommates are not uh, organizing on the pinwheel, <laughs> so you're gonna have to get everything in line. So I just like okay. What did you take from that? Um, I, I might need to put a schedule back up. Okay. So the damn no, because these kids be acting like they lost in space. Y'all remember that show that used to come on in the 80s where the people was in space and they was literally lost. They could never find their way back to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, these kids are lost. They can't never find their way to their chores. Oh, they all be looking like they be looking at each other like, "Ain't you supposed to do it? Ain't you supposed to do it? Ain't you supposed?" You had it, dude. I'm gonna be like, "Oh my fucking gosh!" Oh, so, my gosh. yeah, I think we have to get them a nice little schedule, and it's gonna be big enough so everybody can see. The it. thing is, they've always had a schedule. They had a schedule there. At times, we try to ease back and let them kind of take, you know, lead, but. We fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they not ready. They not ready. They, they not like, ready to take the lead. Why you take my schedule yeah. away? They need a schedule. I, I be feeling like, damn, you still need a schedule for 17, 14 about to be 15, and nine then 9 about, about to be 10. 10. Y'all still want a schedule? I mean, I guess. Oh, yes. I guess it makes them feel good. That like fucks right. us up because we be trying to let them do them. You know what I'm saying? But... <sighs> Yeah, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of shit going on. Like I said, when we got back, it was like literally thirty minutes in the house, my boy. Thirty minutes in the house, and shit went motherfucking left. Shit went left. But I, I felt like my spirit was like, you just need to handle this shit because it was a lot of shit going on when y'all wasn't here. Um, and now they trying to backdoor you with bombarding you with their shit or whatever and you need to handle this shit y'all need to handle this but it was i felt like it was more so yeah on what was happening at that time i needed to handle that shit because i felt like i was being played i felt like i was being insulted um i felt like i was being disrespected on all levels and i don't even play that shit i don't even play that shit with minds i don't even play that shit so it was it was a lot behind that shit when we got home. It was just fucking annoying as fuck. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's say that shit. It was annoying. Um, I'm I'm also just happy we was able to. Well, I was able to handle that shit. Um, and definitely this therapy session that we needed this morning came in right on time. What you say, baby? I think it did. Hmm. Because there was there was some things that needed to be talked about. We needed to understand, um, you know, positioning certain things we got going on and things that are about to transpire. You know, we 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 definitely needed that talk this morning on how to conduct ourselves and uh, and how to how to put the you know put it in order on what it is we trying to do. It's a learning experience every fucking day. In your house, and my house, is always something different happening. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, is it's a lot of differences in this house. Um, where how my upbringing was and how my wife's upbringing was, it always turned around and go back to that. You know, um. Where when we was just talking to her, we was just letting her know, just on communication wise, I'd be feeling like wifey would give me a period and I give her a comma. I give her a comma where I'm like a detailed person. I want to keep going on certain things. It all depends now. Yeah. It all yeah. depends. Hey, hey, hey I'm, I'm about that 100. So it all depends on what it is. However... I feel like you're the same way too, babe. You would give me a period, but it all depends on what it is that you're going to give me a comma. But I feel more so I get a lot of periods from babe because with her, it's I'm just answering your question. There's no more detail to it. If you want more detail, you need to ask me another question. If you don't ask me another question, there's no more to it. And that shit frustrates me because you making me talk too much. I don't want to do all that fucking talking. Give me some more. You know what I'm saying? Give me detail. Give me what I'm looking for. Give me, you know, fuck with me, rock with me or whatever. Keep a conversation going with me. But with her, it's just that period. And I be trying to get a little calmer here and there. It all depends on what it is. But that's another whole topic, y'all. That also comes with differences. Okay? We've learned that. Differences. She has hers. I have mine. We just rock together how we do. We're just great together. I just feel we're so great together. And this is what makes our comedy show. <laughs> 
Like I said, we had our therapist fucking rolling this morning. That lady was fucking laughing. She was like, oh my God, you both are comedians. You got, She was like, this is a whole comedy show. She was like, I hope you guys still have y'all YouTube going on because you guys are inspiration. You guys are motivation. You guys, people would love this. People would love this. And we know y'all do. We know y'all do. It's just uh, YouTube fucking up right now. We don't know what the fuck you got going on, but one thing going up, other going down, one going up, other. Suck on it. Back on it. It is what it is. We just going to keep our shit moving in motion, and we're going to keep doing what we do. We definitely going to try to get on here and find time to do more because our schedule has been hectic. Our schedule has been, um yeah, it's been tight. It's been tight, but... I'm going to tell y'all on my new journey that I started. I, I actually accepted it this weekend while I was gone. I'm happy for myself that I'm about to do something different. That's just an introduction, again, on what I said I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it. But, anyway, let me get on this job. Let me do what I need to do. And I'll be back, y'all. Bye. I, I, I'm just telling y'all. We're going to try to talk to y'all a little bit more. Um, The thing is, I don't be liking to tell all my business like that because we got nosies again. I always come back to say that shit. So certain shit, it, it, just, it just makes me feel weird at times that I have to talk around the world because I can't be too direct on certain things I'm talking about because motherfuckers will see that I, you have been recorded this shit weeks ago and a bitch see it today on the day they see it and all of a sudden that shit is happening that day people that's not knowing the internet world <laughs> you know what i'm saying and think they in here with social media and they're not here with social media i could be recording this today and you see that shit weeks later is what i'm trying to say but when you see it is not when it's actually happening can people not understand that shit <laughs> I don't know. It's just they too nosy in their world. So when they see we done made a move, they like, oh shit, when did y'all make that move? How about that was never your business? Yeah, better stop playing with Chef Reese. Yeah. 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 Back in the set. Stop playing with her. They missed this. Mm -hmm. They missed it. Are you back? Okay. Okay. Okay.